Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors, I'm the DBZ Collector and I'm here to help you start a build your Dragon Ball collection. So be sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Today we will be taking a look at the Soft Vix Dragon Ball vs Omnibus Uzaru Vegeta from Bandai Spirits. He was released on October 14th, 2020. And he is the last one prize from the October 2020 Ichiban Kuji Lottery. I highly doubt there will be an overseas version. Because usually the last one prize doesn't get one. But the Soft Vix Extreme Saiyan, Golden Uzaru, got an overseas version. And he too was the last one prize. But if they don't release one, or you can't wait for them to release one if they do... I'll post eBay links in the description box below. I'll try to find the cheapest ones, but you'll probably still be paying like 180 bucks for it. He came in a bag as opposed to a box. And this is the tag that was attached to the bag. And there was a black rectangular cardboard piece that his feet went in. I think I, think I threw that away. This figure comes whole, and he stands at one foot. Very nice size figure. And he weighs two pounds, 11.8 ounces, pushing his weight to three pounds. I was surprised to find out that this figure has some articulation. It's just in his feet, though. We'll go around 360. As you can see, he can stand by himself. His tail is supporting him. I absolutely love this figure. I think it's one of the best figures in this set. I think Bandai Spirits did a tremendously awesome job. The sculpt is utterly phenomenal. I actually think it's the most detailed figure in this group. They captured his likeness extremely well. Looks exactly like his anime counterpart. Let's talk about the detail for a little bit, starting with his head. I like the wrinkled detail on his forehead and the skin where his eyebrows would be, as well as his snout. And I like how they even textured his tongue, as well as the roof of his mouth, and even underneath his tongue. There's even detail on the top of his teeth. They definitely went out of their way in making this figure. They did an amazing job with the detail on his armor, with the cracks and deep cuts all throughout. It shows just how fierce his battle with Goku was. And I like how they have the yellow part on the stomach of his armor slightly distorted to match how his body is slightly twisted. And I love the detail on the blue part of his armor with the crinkly and stretched out fabric, complete with battle markings, as well as the deep cuts in the armor, along with added rips and holes. By the way, the paint quality and application are just as top notch as the detailing on this figure. They also added the crinkling and stretching on his gloves and boots, with some wear and tear here and there, that rhymes. I like the light brown shading mixed with the dark brown on his head, sideburns, and on his tail. They should have included it on the other parts of his fur. Speaking of shading, this figure has it all throughout, front, back, and all around. And it's done softly and very subtle. 
In my opinion, I think this figure is perfect. Alrighty then, that concludes this review. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have this figure, then let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on them. Even if you don't have them, let me know what you think based on what you see in this video. And if you'd like to buy him and don't want to wait for any news of an overseas version, and I'll include some eBay links in the description box below if you want to pay a hefty price for it. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.